Hi guys, today I'm recapping the truth about Christmas. Jillian, George and Blake story. The movie begins with Jillian and George waking up to the news that an article is posted that they are on their way to becoming New York's next political power couple. Jillian is a top political consultant working with her boyfriend George, a councilman about to run for mayor. They go to a community meeting, then they rush to another meeting. George is taking Jillian home to meet his family for the first time during the Christmas holidays. He gets to his family home ahead of Jillian. He then calls her to remind her to pick up a puppet dot's gift he promises his niece. Jillian pretends she already has a gift. Just before leaving for the trip, she runs to the store in search of the puppet dot. The store has one left in stock, but before she gets to it, a little girl takes it up. Jillian slaps on a sticky note with her name onto the puppy dot box without the little girl noticing and lies by telling the little girl it belongs to her. The little girl gives her the puppy dot. The store Santa notices the exchange and confronts her. Jillian arrives at George's family home and immediately she realizes that she is forced to tell the truth. She can't lie. After two encounters with George's grandmother and mother, she ends up hurting their feelings. She goes to her room and is going nuts as the puppy dot keeps calling her a liar. She is now convinced she is cursed by the Gucci Santa from the store. George's grandmother goes to talk to Jillian, but Jillian escapes through the window because she doesn't want to have to hurt her feelings again. Meanwhile, George's brother Blake watches her climb through the window. Jillian tries to explain to him, but he doesn't understand why she can't talk to his grandmother. Later, George shows up. Jillian continues to mess things up with his family. George is puzzled as to what is going on with her. Jillian tells George the whole puppy dot story, but George talks her into bed and hopes tomorrow she will be herself again. The next day at breakfast, Jillian's curse continues and she insults everyone including George. Blake tries to help her out of the situation a bit. Then Jillian meets with Blake outside and he's still trying to figure out what is going on with her and she tells him she just can't lie. Later, Jillian ends up canceling going to the symphony, a very important charity event with George because she doesn't want to mess things up. She ends up hanging out with Blake, delivering Christmas gifts to families. Afterwards, Jillian and Blake hang out at a bar hosting a talent show and he tells her how he started the Christmas gifts donation charity. Blake is curious as to why Jillian is there with him and not at the symphony with George. Then Jillian takes the stage. She jokes about Blake and meeting his family and he loves that. She ends up winning the contest. After the, the talent show, she shares with Blake that she grew up in a small town with a single mom. They didn't have much, but one thing she could do is make her mom laugh. Jillian is late to meet with George after the symphony, but George invites everyone from the symphony back to his house to have a little party. Jillian is still avoiding messing things up, so she runs to her room. George goes to find her. She goes through the window again, but ends up inside and gets bombarded by a reporter and George's major campaign donor she is avoiding. She ends up outing George's major campaign donor and apologizes to George for ruining his weekend and the campaign and she leaves. Then Gucci Santa shows up and they talk 
life lessons about lies. Then Julian realizes she can lie again and George turning down the major campaign donor is helping his campaign. Julian goes back to the house. George takes out the ring to propose. But Julian tells him that she's not ready to be a wife and she just wants some time on her own. He understands and they hug it out. The next day, Christmas Day, Julian directs a video where George announces his candidacy for mayor. Later, Julian announces that she's running for city council as George and Blake support her. The end. If you like this movie recap, then you can find more here. Bye.